Good day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Deggy Doodles and today we're going to doodle hands. There they are, my beautiful hands. And as you can see, I'm trying to outline what I look for when I doodle hands. And I'm terrible at this. And this is a video that I'm very, very nervous about. In fact, I was maybe not going to release it, but since it's teach myself to draw, we're going to practice hands. So I'm going to start by just drawing a line across and then trying to make that hexagonal shape, like a soggy cardboard box, like as I tried to show you before. So I'm going to go start with a straight line coming up. I haven't left myself enough room here, but I'm going to come up into a little arch and as you can see, I'm trying to use my own hand as reference. So if you can imagine what I drew before, right. And now I'm going to do a ball, a ball socket for the wrist, kind of like a action man or something like that. But don't worry, I'm going to outline all this later so you can see. So now look at your middle finger. It's about as long as the back of your palm. And these are the things I'm trying to think about. And then if I go from the edge of where the knuckles are, I can probably go up and then I can do this weird little triangle shape for the thumb. And uh, I'm probably going to kick it into time lapse here. I'm going to draw hands a few times and this will help us progress through. So I'm going to cut the audio off from now. Just keep checking my hands and... Oh, if you don't want to use your hands, use a reference or something like that. Um, I'm also using a, a book to look at things. A book I bought or purchased. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'll show you said book. So, okay, guys, I'm going to kick it into time lapse. As you can see, I'm just tracing in the fingers and uh, trying to imagine equal distance apart. And following the curve lines that I've drawn. I'm hoping these guidelines are going through. I don't really know how to explain it, but basically it's a, a weird pentagon hexagonal shape. So with a triangle for a thumb and then you just measure the middle finger slightly off center. And then that should be the highest point and it's all equal lengths. So your middle finger is going to be the same length as your palm. So you go from the edge of your hexagonal to the top of the page you know so measure it and you'll get your perspective length um, like I said I'm terrible at this you're going to need a rubber or a kneadable eraser so I'm terrible at this myself which is why I'm practicing and uh, this is today's practice so uh, draw along and uh, hopefully we can get through this and all get better at our hands because we all dread it. It's one of them topics that we all hate. So I'm going to shut up now, kick it into time lapse and we'll see what we come up with at the end.
Okay, guys, as you can see, I've uh, tried my best and it's uh, not quite worked out on this last one. Um, I tried to do a fist and it just, yeah, it just didn't work out. But as you can see, with a, <laughs> just drawing a turd there to just symbolize the, uh, the fist. And now I'll show you that special book I was uh, using for reference. And just forget that fist. But this is that book by Mark Crilly, who is an amazing artist. And uh, this book's got a lot of helpful things in here. Go check out his YouTube channel. I use, uh, I use him to learn, and this book has been a great help. Well, thank you for watching, guys. And uh, hope I catch you in the next one. And uh, definitely check out this book. All right, thanks for watching and uh, catch you later.